What's up YouTube fragrance family and friends? Tommy with Studio Sins here with a brand new release. That's right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a brand new fragrance from Bulgari in the Bulgari Man line of fragrances called Bulgari Man Teray Essence. There's not been a ton of fanfare about this fragrance. It's one of those strangely quiet releases not quite as high profile as Versace Eros Parfum. Now the last fragrance that was released in the Bulgari Man line happened to carry the second word of this title called Glacial Essence. So it was a cool, kind of a cool take on the Bulgari Man DNA, and it was kind of a meh fragrance. So when we come back, we're gonna take a closer look at this brand new release, talk about the note breakdown and kind of why it was positioned the way that it was, that and more, so stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. So Alberto Maria is at it again. He is like the Stephen King of perfumers, so prolific. He has created a ton of fragrances, all of the Bulgari Man line fragrances, and its latest release that was just launched, Bulgari Man Ture Essence. So before we dissect the note breakdown of this fragrance, let's take a closer look at that presentation. Now, if you're not familiar with the Bulgari Man line, the bottles are really cool. The lids themselves turn and lock into place so that you can't depress the top. Uh, just in case you want to travel with it or something, you know it's going to be safe from ejecting any juice. And then when you're ready, you just twist it that way. It only goes one way. And then you're ready to spray some juice. So I do like the look of this. It's very terracotta, right? Like that color terracotta. It's almost like a gold. So it's got a light beige and that uh, light gold, we'll say. It's almost like a rose gold or not pink, as uh, Google calls it. And it's a really nice look. It's like a twin color, like a duo combo to create a theme there. And the lighter color is used for the lettering. Bulgari Man on the front, Ture Essence uh, in the middle. And then, of course, nothing on the bottom. Bulgari Manta Ray Essence is an Eau de Parfum concentration and this is a 100 ml bottle. Just like all of the fragrances in the Bulgari Man line, they're gonna come in 50 ml size as well. Although the 100 ml size has been hard enough to find, I actually happened upon it on a fragrance website called fragrancelovers.com. It is actually a Shopify site. And just like there's a ton of Shopify sites out there, you don't know which ones are scams, which ones are real. When I ordered this, I was like, like a day later, I was like, hmm. It was a hundred bucks because it's a brand new release. I didn't bat an eye at that. I just didn't, had never heard of the fragrance lovers before. I wrote to them an email. They responded immediately. In fact, when I ordered it, literally within three minutes, I got an email with the tracking number in it. I was like, wow, that's pretty good. So they're very fast, extremely quick on their turnaround times and they sent me a 15% off coupon. So it is a legitimate website in the description below in case you're interested in checking them out because 
they are one of the few locations where you can actually get this fragrance right now. And so that's what's odd about this release. It's a highly respected design fragrance brand and line of fragrances by Alberto Maria. So I think it's unusual that it was released in the way that it was. Maybe it was just a misnomer. Maybe they had been working on it and meant to release it in spring and summer. And it's just one of those late releases into fall. Because when you look at the fragrance and even the name Terre, you think Terra, you think Earth. Uh, you think spring and summer and it's it's a light obviously a light fragrance and according to the fragrance notes that are in it it seems like it's going to be a lighter spring and summer release so let's talk a little bit about the note breakdown bulgari manta ray essence features top notes of calabrian citron calamondin or calamansi heart notes of vetiver and orris resting on a base of earthy notes and Styrax or Benzoin. Now, Calabrian Citron is gonna be very citrusy, obviously. And then you've got Calamansi, they're called Calamondin, but better known as Calamansi. They're native to the Philippines. It's just like a little orange uh, related to tangerine and mandarin orange. So all within the realm of very citrus. So we know it's gonna be citrus forward in the open. The heart is sticking pretty much to vetiver and orris or iris. And in the base where you get your fixative, that's Styrax and uh, or benzoin better known as, as benzoin benzoin is well known for its fixative properties is very warm and very vanilla like the aroma so let's test out the juice and see what it's like whoa that is weird that is very strange you see it can you see that it's literally like a can of spray paint. I'm not even gonna use a tester strip because it blows it out of my fingers. It's such a powerful spray. It's intended to spread and ha have a, a decent spread or a decent array, when, whereas this one is like the width of my finger. I have a lot on my arm though, so there's quite a bit there to test. Let's test it out, see what it smells like. I don't know that I like that very well. That is unusual. It's almost got a, it's like a plasticky synthetic smell. I was thinking it was going to be a lot more citrus forward because you've got two kinds of citrus in the open. So there's a bit of citrus there, but it definitely takes a backseat to the benzoin base. Now, terre is appropriate because terracotta, it, it smells very much like old pottery. I haven't recently smelled old pottery to make that, you know, designation, but that's in my mind, at least what it, what old pottery would smell like. Yeah, I don't really like that. It's a pretty funky, earthy, it's definitely earthy. I don't really like this fragrance and I'm kind of sad that I've got $100 invested in a bottle of fragrance that I'll probably never use. I care about you guys spending your money on fragrances that are good and so I'm super happy to bring you good news, you know, of good fragrances, but I'm also equally happy to warn you against things like this. Now you might get this and think it's the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, the best thing since sliced bread and cheese. That would make me happy too, but I don't think that's gonna happen. This is a very, very kind of specific, almost like niche fragrances. And I'm not knocking niche fragrances, I'm just saying fewer people are gonna like this than the greater majority. It's not really a crowd pleaser. It's just that funky plastic old pottery smell that I can't get out of my head. There you have it. I don't know what this would be good for. I don't know anyone who would actually want to smell this way. And I don't know anyone that would want someone to smell this on them. So I can't think of a good use for this fragrance, to be quite honest. Kind of disappointing. Don't know what Alberto Maria was thinking when he created this. Or maybe I've just got a bad batch, a bad bottle. Please someone tell me that that's the case. But it's not really a loss to me because again, I'm able to warn you guys against something that may be potentially not something you want in your collection, specifically for fall or winter. It's definitely not a cool weather fragrance. It's, it's definitely made for spring and summer, albeit a very murky, funky spring and summer. That's it for my brief coverage of this Bulgari Man fragrance, Ture Essence. It is a funky essence to me. I'm not really gonna recommend it to you guys. Um, definitely get a sample of it before you buy a full bottle like me. I hope that when I put this through its paces and wear it, I'll find a good function for it. But for now, I can't really think of a good place for it or reason why you would wanna smell like this. I think I'm gonna be among the first of the reviews of this fragrance out there. So I'm curious to see what other people think. Definitely get other opinions before you use this video to be the deciding factor for you know purchasing this fragrance. I'm here to tell you, I really don't like it. And I really am curious as to if someone else likes it, specifically why, because it's kind of funky. 
Thanks so much though for checking out today's video unboxing and, and first impressions. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense and I'll see you tomorrow.